who's coming? Same old tired fairies you've seen around since day one. This is gonna be fun. It's ugly, and the, none of those words were ever uttered by me without a severe amount of trepidation and a sick feeling in your stomach going into it. Actually, you know what? There'll be seven, counting Harold and you and me. Are you calling me a screaming queen or a tired fairy? I was very shocked uh, uh, in rehearsals when we first started using the language. And there are certain slurs that hit me every performance, particularly uh, interactions between Michael and Bernard. There'll be six tired screaming fairy queens and one anxious queer. But the language for me is part of what's so hard to hear and to take, but it's what makes the story truthful and authentic. It's like if, you, if you're setting a play in 1968 and you have a black character and we're gonna pretend like he's not black, then you're not telling the truth. Just as if I wrote a play about 2020, but Black Lives Matter doesn't happen. I just wanted to tell him that, to tell him that I, I love him. My intention is not to cause anyone pain by, by using words that are to brutalize someone. And yet, I, my responsibility is to the story. And the story is, this is the cost of oppression. It allows you to, to act in a way that is inhumane. Mary, take me home. These queens are crazy. And it wasn't until we did it on stage for that first preview audience, and I heard a guttural gasp the first time one of these slurs was used that I, I, I remembered and realized how powerful they really are.